Michelle McGowey. And I'm David Keener. And this is the Hourlings Podcast Project. Tonight, uh, we're going to be talking about short stories, and Dave's going to be driving the bus. Dave, take it away. Uh, sure. So we're going to be talking about short stories, uh, you know, from a writing standpoint. Um, and I'll just, I'm just going to delve right into the topic. Um, first of all, what's the definition of a short story? Well, it's based on length. Um, word count. <laughs> word count. Pure, pure word count. And in and fact, you can Google it up and you can see what the definition of uh, uh, many are. Okay. Um, most of the uh, uh, awards and stuff that I'm aware of uh, assume that the 7,500 words and under is, uh, is a short story. Um, so first of all, what are the advantages of a short story over a longer work when you're writing one? Well, one of the, I mean, this is from a marketing standpoint, but one of the great advantages of a short story is being able to offer it to readers to get them interested in your work. I know uh, Marty does this all the time uh, with his work, uh, but being able to produce something very efficiently in a quick amount of time that showcases your writing skills and your storytelling skills and gets it out there in the world, gets you published. Usually a short story is the first step for an author to become published, an anthology or, you know, um, somewhere online. And that's a great thing to be published. Yeah, I also, uh, I end up writing a lot of things that I'll later convert into short stories that I end up on the cutting room floor when I'm writing novels. And um, then my wife likes to call them DVD special features. I'll, I'll, I'll give them away for free or I've compiled all my short stories into a ginormous volume of uh, short stories that I've written. I love that um, idea. But a lot of the stories are, there might be a secondary character in um, one of my novels and uh, it delves more deeply into that character and that character's life. And it's a lot of fun writing that stuff. And another great thing about writing short stories is it's great practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can, if you can uh, um, hone your skills to uh, write a nice little three-act story with a beginning, middle, and end, and um, concise character development in um, rapid fashion, it, it really, really helps to um, hone the craft so that um, you become a better novelist, really. Yeah, I agree. I think also a short story is kind of like a sprint, where a novel is a, is a marathon. Yeah, and so like Marty said, I think you can learn a lot by doing a short story. I I also think that short stories offer you a bit more opportunity to like do some wildly experimental stuff. Okay, if you write ten pages and it doesn't work, okay, you can throw it out. But if you write two hundred pages, and you know, I'm not sure I want to throw that much stuff out. So I, I like the idea of being able to experiment, play with tone, play with voice. I, I mm -hmm. think that's all part of the practice and, and getting better Good that, that Marty talked about. <laughs> Good point. Um, from a reading standpoint, I like them because they fit into a time, a small time slot, and uh, yeah, I can read them pretty, pretty easily. So that's kind of the market I feel like you're writing for sometimes. Yeah, you know, when when you're again back to the publishing thing, when you're looking to be published for the first time, um, if it's at a, uh, a professional anthology or publisher, it's much less of a risk for the publisher to publish your short story than to publish a novel because there's just a lot less money involved. So it's also great to to produce something like that, so you have a low risk option for publishers to jump on you and get a platform. And it is it is part of initially building an audience. Yeah. If people read your short stories and like them, they will check out, a, they may check out a larger work. All right, what disadvantages does a short story have? You know, I think, I, I, I must be the minority because a lot of people disagree with me, but I think that it's much harder to write a short story than a novel. I just, I'm not used to the beat structure and the arc of a short story. Like I, the, the novel beat structure comes very naturally to me. Short stories, I'm always struggling with either finishing up in time without making it too long, or uh, it just feels like it's rushed or that it's jammed in there. I very much have a hard time with them. Uh, so this number one, the, the weirdness of the, of the arc, doing it in a small amount of time. Uh, and number two for me, a disadvantage, 
I, I have to confess that my short stories are my B ideas. My A ideas I save for my novels because I'm like, you know, this concept is so good, it's gotta be a novel. Uh, if I think of an idea that's okay and I'm not really totally obsessed with it, I like, you, like you said, Dave, I'll experiment on a short story with it. But um, yeah, I never feel like, you know, I, I don't have one short story where I'm like, I, I, if, I, if I were to die tomorrow, the top five things I want to save and have people read, there would never be a short story on there. I don't know. They're just, they're just my B-flops. <laughs> I find it to be a disadvantage. Short stories, one, they don't, you know, they don't make as much money. I'm all about uh, trying to uh, earn a living uh, writing novels. Short stories aren't huge money makers. Um, but I also believe that it's kind of a different skill set mm -hmm. writing short stories. Um, the, the way that you develop characters, you know, being able to uh, do greater depth of character development, having more characters included in the story, um, hit, instead of having staccato, you know, uh, inciting incident, you know, you know, action, 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 then, then, you know, story ends. Um, uh, it's, it's a lot slower burn and it's a different, and it's a different habit to get into. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I like writing short stories. I, I do, but, I'll confess a lot of times because I'm a novelist, I'll start what I think is going to be a short story. Next thing I know, it turns into a novel. There you go. Yeah, exactly. And that's happened to me. And my, I can't tell you how many times my writer's group has, has read what was, I thought was going to be a short story. And they, they were like, dude, you know, this, and next thing you know, it ends up a novel. And, yeah. uh, yeah, and, I will confess uh, that a lot of my novelettes were failed short stories. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess that would be my uh, biggest tag disadvantage to short stories. Mm -hmm. I highly encourage them. Don't get me wrong. I think it um, it is a very very useful um, practice. To do and in fact, if you have a critique group that you are are a member of, like the Hourlings, our uh, writers group. Um, it's much easier to run short stories through than entire novels. And um, the actual critique that you want for, a, for a, long, a long work is actually kind of different than it is for a short story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think of short stories as sort of like jelly beans. You have, you have time for like one flavor, maybe a mix of flavors, but that, that's it. And a few scenes and you're done because you just don't have the room. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, that's both an, a disadvantage and an advantage in a way, because I feel like it enforces some discipline on you. Mm -hmm. You have to figure out how to do things tightly. You have to be concise. Um, you have to figure out, you don't have time to give the entire backstory of the character. So can you do something to suggest the background and let the reader infer other things? Um, so I feel like some of those can be skills it could be useful for your novel uh, writing, but there, it's definitely a, it's definitely a different beast writing a short story. I, I've so, failed more times than I've succeeded. Dave, what are the the tools that uh, viewers can use to craft a short story that uh, that avoid these issues that we're talking about? And uh, for one, I'll give you one that I can think of, and maybe you can think of some too. Uh, one is, is, is to follow the parable uh, motif, if you will. You know, like I, I do this often with short stories. Not, don't be preachy, but I sort of come in with like, a, okay, this short story kind of has like an underlying lesson or an underlying, you know, punchline that I'm getting at. And so I, all I need to do, I don't have to worry so much about, you know, the finishing up every little character arc or, or even the setting. I just have to make sure that everything I write is leading towards that punchline. And that's one tool that I use when writing short stories. What do you guys think? That, that's a twist or a punchline um, where, you, where, the, where, the whole, where the whole purpose of the story is the yeah. reveal at the end. Yeah, that, that's a tool I use in short stories. And you can't do that really in a novel 
because people are like, you give them a punchline at the end of the novel and they're, they're going to throw it on the ground. But in the short story, uh, you can often get this reaction of, oh, 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 he got me. Or she got me, right? Um, I think that's just one type of short story. Uh, Marty? Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, that's one method to, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of successful short stories that, that have that twist or that punchline at the end or, you know, that one thing you didn't expect that uh, makes the story uh, fun. Um, an another tool that I like to use with a short story is, you know, still have a three-act structure. You know, a concise three-act structure, beginning, middle, and end. And um, I will throw a denouement on there as well um, with short stories. But you got to keep them tight. You, you can't, you know, spend all afternoon. And that means fewer characters, you know, a very concise, well-established setting that you don't have to completely paint the picture constantly uh, through every, uh, every, every uh, sentence. Um, but that's one of the things that makes it um, harder to write a short story because you got to be so lean. Every syllable's got to matter, and you can't dick around. And that's uh, uh, meandering short stories are, you know, you, you can't be worse so long and be a short story. Uh, I, I will say another tactic I've heard is um, if you think about a typical story, some time was set up, especially in the first act, maybe some exposition, maybe some filling in backstory, and then rising action leading to the climax, right? Uh, a lot of times in the short story, you, you may drop most of that, most of act one and that setup and exposition, right? And start right when the, when the action is rising, right? And you have to let, you, but you have to quickly fill people in with just enough information so that they understand where you are in the action. Okay, you're in the middle of the, of the car chase, right? Uh, and, you know, and you've got to go on from there. Um, that's one tactic I've, I've heard of. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else? Yeah, so you have the you have the punchline, which is like the twist. But that's, but but that's I, only one type of... Uh, but I want, no, I want to differentiate, that's what I'm trying to do. I want to differentiate it um, from back to what I was saying, the parable. Which is more like like a lesson, like you know the emperor's new new quote, yeah, the emperor's new clothes, you know, where the lesson all along is you know, uh, what vanity or not, you know, not not a uh, not sucking up to authority, whatever it is. So that that's something where there's not necessarily a punchline, but the the story is is all sort of building upon a value or a lesson that that is manifested by the story. Does that make sense? Yes, for many short stories. Absolutely. Yeah. And then there's irony, which, I mean, I guess this is all parts of twists, but, uh, you know, there's irony uh, that can be your, your twist. Uh, I wrote a short story once about a guy who uh, he's, he's falling to his death because he jumped out of a plane without a parachute on purpose. And so he has, uh, he has a, a voice recorder and he's recording his last words on this voice recorder. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and spoil it, but he, he jumped and he explains in the voice recorder, he jumped because he spent his entire life looking for this island that is mythical, that is supposed to have all this sort of uh, treasure on it. And it's in the shape of a heart. And he's gone through all sorts of his, his life savings trying to find this island. And now he realized it was all fraud. And as he's getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to falling to the ground, what he thinks would be water, what comes into view? What do you think? The island. The, the heart-shaped island. island. The heart-shaped island. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, that, that doesn't have a value. It doesn't have a, you know, like a, there wasn't something mysterious that is different when you get to the punchline, but it's just irony. And so something like that, too, could be a tool that I think people could use. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I could go a little further. I, I, I think that there are some characteristics the story has to have. I think the the character has to want something. He has to be able to make some kind of choice during the story. And in some way or fashion, he's got to be, he's got to be, or the situation has got to be different by the end. I, I mean, that's pretty general. 
but that's what you have time for in a short story. Hmm. You know. All right. Um, we've talked a little bit about sales potential. Um, again, I don't think you're going to get rich writing short stories. But nope. uh, how, how can you make money off your short stories? Well, there's magazines, there's anthologies, there is using it as reader magnets to, you know, do the drug dealer model of marketing. So you can say, hey, if you like this one, buy that novel and you'll get a lot of it. Um, so there's lots of ways to actually exploit short stories, short stories for, um, uh, for commerce. And you uh, mentioned one earlier, you collected all your stories in the in, in a yeah, and I love what Mario yeah. Because yeah. I, I suddenly realized that um, I, I had, when I was finished with every short story I did, in the end, after they were edited and, um, you know, published in an anthology or wherever they were published, I would cut and paste a, one into a Word document that I was always planning on, you know, uh, making into a collection of short stories. And... I had been doing it for years, and um, it was the six-year anniversary of the publication of my first book, and I realized that I was over 450 pages now worth of short stories. Mm -hmm. So I published my collection called Six Years Out. It's got, I think, 20 short stories in it. I love that. Yeah, so I feel like, uh, in some ways, more so than a novel, a short story has a life cycle, right? And really, when you when you publish it, in most cases, like in an anthology, you're licensing it uh, exclusively for a certain period of time, and then you can sell it again, or or you can publish it in some other fashion. So, like Marty said, there's no reason why you can't have a short story published in an anthology and make money, and continue to make royalties off the anthology, and then after the exclusionary period. Uh, you sell it as a reprint to another anthology, or you use it as a reader magnet, or you um, add it to a collection, or uh, you know, perhaps add it to a, a story bundle that people are selling. Um, so I think you can do things to make your stories make money over time, but they're never, I, I don't think they're ever going to make as much money as, as a novel, unless you write the flowers of flowers for Algernon or something. All right. Uh, any more tips for writing short stories? Just write them. <laughs> Just do it. Join a writer's group. Seriously. <laughs> it, it, it'll help hone your craft. That's my final tip. Yeah, I, I like to do these little ideation exercises and and uh, I'll come up with ideas and I'll, you know, sometimes I'll outline them. Sometimes I'll, I'll write them up. Um, a lot of them I don't finish, but some of them actually have turned into the stories that I have completed. So I think short story is a cool exercise at, at a minimum. Okay. Uh, and for me, you know, as a diehard pantser, I think short stories are very hard to pants. Um, and maybe that's why I struggle with them so much. So I think if you're a plotter, you're in a little bit of a better position. But to all you fellow pantsers out there, my advice would be to just know your ending at least know where you're going and and then you can figure out the, the first and second act now see i heard the opposite thing when i was doing my research oh really uh, they, they were saying cancers your best option is to try to write your short story in one or two sessions non-stop i can't imagine what you end up with uh and they said to expect that you'll have to do edits and stuff but uh uh they thought that was the best way for cancers i can't imagine <laughs> I can't because see, I, I ain't one <laughs> I, I can't imagine because the whole point of, of like panting through a novel is that you have time and space and room to figure it out because you let your you let your scenes happen, you let your characters develop, and then the plot sort of emerges from that. So I can't imagine having the space to to do to accomplish that as a panter in a short story. It's crazy. I, I think they were more concerned about the flow than the uh, uh, than the space. Your miles may vary. I, I can't comment either way because I'm not a pantser. 
Yep, me neither. Once again, I'm the I'm the black sheep, but that's okay. I need to represent all the viewers out there that that are, are like me. Yeah, you know, everybody can't be right. I'm, I'm the token pantser of this of this group. <laughs> All, All right. right. Anything else before we sign off? I, I think that's it. I think we've covered the subject. Good All job. right. Go out, write a short story. Do, Do it, it now. Let's finish it. All right. We'll take take care. We'll see you again next week.